Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with it and natural and in this tutorial I'll show you guys the best export settings for sharp images and settings that are going to help you have those very nice and professional colors the way you color graded your images in Photoshop. So we have those cases whereby we save images and they look really out of focus and they look blurry and those images that also change color when we put them on another device or post them on Instagram. So this tutorial is for you guys who have those issues always. So let's kick in and we start learning about the best export settings for all your images. And as you can see, I already did the skin retouching for this very image. And for those interested, I can show you guys the before and after right here. So this was the image initially before and after, before, after. So I already did the skin retouching to this very image. And those interested, I'm going to put the link for you guys right above here. So that you can learn about how I do my skin retouching in just Photoshop. So that is not the emphasis for this tutorial. So I'll show you guys the problem you guys always encounter when you're going to do uh, your export settings. So some people tend to come right to file and they come to uh, on the option of save. So if at all you save your images in such a way, you're going to be encountering the problem of having images that are not sharp and images that are out of focus and also images that are going to change in color and the images are going to be differing from the way you color graded them in Photoshop. And if at all you also use save as, you're going to be experiencing that very problem. So for this tutorial, the settings that I'm talking about are you just simply come to file, come to export, and come to export as. So when you come to export as, you're going to get this window right here opened for you right into Photoshop. And when it is opened, uh, you're going to get your preview. So a brief information about uh, this window. Right here you see the image details. And you can see it is a JPEG file. And it is 9.9 .9 MBs. And now when you come right to the format, you can change it from a PNG to whichever format you want to save. But if at all you have an intention of posting your image maybe to uh, Facebook or Instagram, always come and select jpeg so when you come and select jpeg uh, you have the quality option right here so when you come right here to the quality and you drop down the quality right here you're going to notice that this is also going to uh, reduce in size so this is also going to change uh, dramatically i know it takes some time to process you can see it has changed from 9 to 2 mbs and when I move this all the way up, you're going to notice that you're going to get back the original size of your image. So usually I don't tamper with image size. So under image size, we have width and height. But if at all you want to play around with, the, with these pixels, you can still play around with them rather. Then the scale, I also don't tamper with it. So if at all I want a really nice and sharp image after exporting and uh, this is where the first trick happens so come to resampling and check and select by cubic sharper so initially it is going to be on by cubic automatic so just come and select a uh, by cubic sharper so after selecting that i don't also tamper with the canvas size because i want the image already cropped in my ratio of 45 so when you select that, so I don't tamper with the canvas size, that is the width and height of the image. So right now, if at all you don't want to encounter that problem of your images always and always changing color and you end up getting disappointed when you put the image maybe on social media or you put it on a different device, this is where you have to find the solution for you. So we have the option of color space. So in come to color space, we have convert to srgb and embed color profile so these are two options you have to make sure that you have uh, checked so make sure you select both the reason for selecting both is because most social media platforms or social media sites support rgb and when you embed the color profile it means that all the color grading that you did in photoshop 
is going to be embedded into this image and it is going to be uh, really integrated into the image. So after doing that, your image is going to be ready to be exported in Photoshop. So just come to export and just hit export. So when you come to export, you have a uh, save image as. So when you come to save image as, of course, you already selected JPEG. That's why you have a JPEG extension right here. So you can rename your image to whichever you want. So for this case, I'm going to name this image a best export. And here you have the location where you are, where you want to save your image, maybe on your computer or on your external drive. So for this case, I'm save my image onto my desk, my desktop rather. So I've selected desktop in this case, and after that, just come and hit save. And the image is going to take a few seconds to be exported or saved in that uh, location that you chose for exporting. So this has been a tutorial for you guys about the best export settings. And if at all you want to export a crisp, sharp image after retouching it, this is the tutorial for you guys. And if at all you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have watched this this tutorial from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating